Preparing for the COGET second grade test can feel overwhelming, but practice and the right approach make all the difference. In this video, we'll walk you through the test format and share sample questions from each of the nine sections. These examples will help your child build confidence and get one step closer to success. Let's dive in. Before we jump into the sample questions, let's quickly go over the test structure. The COGET is divided into three main batteries, nonverbal, quantitative, and verbal. Each battery is further broken down into three subtests. All right, now it's time to try some sample questions. Feel free to call your child over and solve them together for a fun and engaging learning experience. The first subtest we'll cover is figure matrices, which is part of the nonverbal battery. The following question has three figures. The first two figures in the top row go together. The third figure in the bottom row goes with one of the answer choices. Choose the answer choice that goes with the third figure. You can pause the video to examine it carefully. In the first row, the geometric shape rotates in a clockwise direction by 90 degrees from left to right, and the shape's colors change alternately. The purple becomes orange, and the orange becomes purple. Therefore, the correct answer is option B. The next subtest is figure classification. In this question, the first three figures are alike in some way. Choose the figure from the answer choices that goes with the first three figures. In this question, all the geometric figures are hexagons, which are shapes with six sides. Therefore, the correct answer is option C, which is also a shape with six sides. The other answer choices are shapes with either seven or four sides. The final subtest in this nonverbal battery is paper folding. This question shows a paper folded several times and then punched with holes. The answer choices contain unfolded papers with punched in holes. You need to determine which of the answer choices is the final product of the unfolded punched in paper. First, the square paper was folded in half vertically from top to bottom. Then three triangular holes were punched in the folded paper. Since the paper was folded in half once, the holes were cut through two layers of paper. Therefore, when the paper is unfolded, it will have six holes in total. Since the paper was folded vertically down the middle, the holes on the bottom fold must mirror the holes on the top fold. All pairs of similar triangles will have an opposite orientation. The only figure that meets this description is in the third option. So option three is the correct answer. How's it going so far? These questions might feel tricky since many children face them for the first time on this test. But don't worry, the more your child practices, the better they become at solving them. By the way, if you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us create more valuable content to help your child succeed. All right, let's move on to the next battery of the test. The quantitative battery. Next subtest in this battery is called number series. This question shows a series of images of beads on an abacus toy. You have to figure out the rule used to arrange the number of beads, then decide how many beads should come next in the series. The sequence three, six, five, six, seven, six follows a clear alternating pattern. Every second number is six, while the other numbers, three, five, and seven increase by two each time. Therefore, the correct answer is option C. The final subtest in this battery is number puzzles. In this question, you are given an equation with a missing number. You must solve the equation to determine what number is missing. First, add nine to eight, which equals 17. Then to find the missing value, subtract 17 from 26. So, the correct answer is nine. Is your child ready to tackle more questions like these? If you'd like more structured practice, we've developed a complete package with full length simulations and targeted drills to help your child master each section. You'll find the link in the description below and the pinned comment. Now let's move on to the last battery of the second grade COGAT test, the verbal battery. The first subtest in this battery is picture analogies. In this question, there are three pictures. The first two pictures go together in some special way. Choose the picture from the answer choices that goes with the third picture. 
The first row shows matches that are used to light the candle. Similarly, the electric switch is used to turn on the bulb. Therefore, the correct answer is option B. The next subtest we'll cover is sentence completion. In this question, you need to choose the picture from the answer choices that best completes the sentence or best follows the instructions. To fix the bike, Sarah used a hammer, a wrench, and a screwdriver. Choose the tool that Sarah did not use. Pliers were not mentioned in the tools Sarah used to fix the bike. Therefore, the correct answer is option B. All right, now we arrived at the final subtest of the test, which is called picture classification. In this question, there are three pictures. These three pictures are alike in some way. Decide how they are alike. Then, choose the picture from the answer choices that belongs in the same group as the first three pictures. The images show computer accessories, a keyboard, mouse, and monitor. The missing item should be another computer-related tool. The correct answer is A. A USB stick is a common accessory used with computers. Congratulations on completing the sample questions. Helping your child practice is the first step toward their success. If you'd like to help your child go even further, check our complete Kogut second grade practice package in the description below and the pinned comment. It includes full-length simulations and over 250 questions tailored to sharpen their skills and build their confidence. And remember, every like and subscribe helps us continue creating content for families like yours. So, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to stay updated on our latest resources. Your child's journey toward success starts here. With practice, patience, and positivity, they're capable of achieving incredible results. You've got this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.